Mr. Mandel? Here. Mr. Stigemeyer? Here. Mr. Tupper? Here. Mr. Frost? Here. And is Ms. James here? I thought she was here. Are you on mute? I haven't seen her rejoin. Okay, thanks. Well, we do have a quorum. Great, so I'll quickly go through the meeting overview. Uh, this is a brief review of the meeting format. Applicants with requests before the planning commission are allotted a presentation time of 10 minutes. This time should include, but is not limited to an overview of the project, case history, and any pertinent meetings held regarding the request. This time also includes all persons presenting information on behalf of the applicant, such as attorneys, engineers, and architects. This time limit does not include any questions asked by the Planning Commission or staff regarding requests. Members of the general public are given the opportunity to address their concerns in intervals of two minutes. The administrator has a timer and will make presenters aware of when their time has expired. The Planning Commission reserves the right to amend these procedures on a case by case basis. The Planning Commission uses the consent agenda to approve non controversial or routine matters by a single motion and vote. Examples of such items include approval of site plans, annexations, and street names. If a member of the Planning Commission or general public wants to discuss an item on the consent agenda, that item is removed from the consent agenda and considered during the meeting. The Planning Commission then approves the remaining consent agenda items. So today on the consent agenda, we've got three items. First is the approval of the September 4th, 14th, 2020 meeting minutes. We also have a comprehensive plan map amendment and zoning map amendment for pending annexation and that's for 1314 Rosewood Drive. This is a request uh, for recommendation to assign land use classification of community activity corridor and assign zoning of general commercial district within a flood protective area for a pending annexation. As well, there is a site plan review at 739 Jacobs Mill Pond Road. This is a request for site plan approval for the construction of a 24 unit group development, the Jacobs Mill Pond townhomes. And it, this property is zoned large scale planned unit development. Is there anyone from the Planning Commission that would like any item removed from the consent agenda? Hearing none, is there anyone from the public that would like to have an item removed from the consent agenda? When participating, please provide your name for the minutes. You can communicate by sending an email to COC board meeting at Columbia SC.gov. Please communicate via phone by pressing star two to leave a voicemail or star three to speak in person. We will pause to allow communication from the public. Again, that phone number is 855-925-2801, and the meeting code is 7936. I haven't seen any emails come in. I guess we can check in with Andrew and see if anybody is on the line. Okay. Andrew, do you have any callers by any chance? Are you on mute?
Hi, Lucinda. Hey. There is nobody on the call that has requested to speak. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, do I have a motion and a second to accept the consent agenda subject to all conditions contained in the case summaries? Here, I make a motion that the consent agenda be approved. Got a motion. Can I get a second? Second. All right, all in favor, but here, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, please say no. Here are none, I think the consent agenda is passed. Lucinda, if you want to do a roll call, we can. It's, it's up to you if, if you need it. Um, sure, let's do a roll call, just to make sure we've got everybody. <clears throat> Mr. Cohn? Yes. Mr. Harp? Yes. Ms. Hartz? Yes. Ms. James? Yes. Dr. Mandel? Yes. Mr. Stegemeyer? Yes. Mr. Tupper? Yes. And Mr. Frost? Yes. And the motion passes. All right. The Planning Commission will now move forward with those items on the regular agenda. We'll use the following outline for regular agenda items. The administrator will introduce the case. The applicant will have 10 minutes to make a presentation. Planning Commission may ask questions. The public will be allowed to participate via email, voicemail, voice in person via the web. Uh, lost part of it. Planning Commission may ask questions of the applicant and then uh, action by the Planning Commission will occur. Okay, so for the regular agenda, the, the first item is um, for a request to make a minor amendment to a planned unit development residential for 621 Suver Street. I believe Rachel Bailey is here to introduce the case or answer any questions. Sure. Thanks, Lucinda. So this was a PUD that was approved in 2007 for a six unit townhome development. I believe the um, original site plan was in your packet as well as the new site plan. The townhomes would be roughly 1200 square feet and two stories and then a one way drive with an entrance on Suber and exit on South Kilbourne was approved as part of that original 2007 site plan. Um, modern times, they are working to develop this site in accordance to the PUD and they hit a hiccup. Um, SEDOT is now requiring ingress and egress be off Montgomery Avenue. So the original one-way drive will not be approved by SEDOT. So the applicants requesting this minor amendment for the following. So they've had to change the site plan to account for the new ingress egress now off of Montgomery. It's no longer a one way drive. They're reducing their unit count. So they're lessening the density from six townhomes to five. So that's resituated on the parcel um, while maintaining the required setbacks of the original PUD. Um, and the units will be 1200 to 1220 square feet and they're gonna remain the two stories. Um, all other requirements of the original PUD remain in effect. If you all have any questions, I'm happy to answer. I'm not sure if the applicant is on the line or not. Okay. Planning Commission, have any questions? I guess we'll give the applicant an opportunity if they are on the call and they want to say anything, please speak up. Here are none. Um, we'll move to public comment. Uh, we encourage those that would like to communicate via email to begin sending in letters and emails. Again, that email address is COC board meeting at Columbia SC.gov. We also encourage those wanting to leave a voicemail to use star two, 
Again, that phone number is 855-925-2801 with a meeting code of 7936. And uh, we will pause to see if we get any emails or callers on the line. If you want to speak live, you can uh, call the phone number 855-925-2801 with the meeting code of 7936 and press star three to join the queue. Again, when participating, please provide your full name for the minutes. Um, so Frost, this is Andrew. I do have a caller that has raised their hand. And I can pass them through. Thank you. Hello, this is the Planning Commission. Uh, it looks like they're connecting. I apologize for that uh, interruption, but I've got a little spinning circle here. Can you hear us? Yes. Great. Uh, so um, this is uh, Lucas Bunch and Wyman Bowers, and we are uh, the developers on 621 uh, Super um, and have been working with uh, Ms. Bailey on, on this uh, and would welcome any uh, questions that uh, anyone from the commission may have for us. Okay, Lucas, thank you. Um, I don't believe the Planning Commission had any further questions, but we'll offer that opportunity again. Um, planning Commissions, do you have any questions regarding this case? Hearing none, um, I, I think we're good from a Planning Commission standpoint. Andrew, do we have any other callers or emails that have come in? I do not have any um, comments, nor do I have any other callers that have raised their hand. I haven't seen any emails. <clears throat> well, the developers just emailed and said they were trying to call in. So we've heard from them. There aren't any other emails at this point. Okay. Hearing no questions or uh, public comment, <laughs> I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to approve the minor amendment to a PUD R at 621 Super Street. I have a motion. Can I get a second? I'll make a second. All right, Lucinda, you want to do a roll call? Yes. Mr. Cohn. Yes. Mr. Harp. Yes. Ms. Hartz. Yes. Ms. James. Yes. Dr. Mandel. Yes. Mr. Stigemeyer. Yes. Mr. Tupper. Yes. And Mr. Frost. Yes. Okay, the motion passes. Can I verify, Harris, were you the second on that? This is Lee. It was Dale. Oh, I'm sorry, Dale. Perfect, thank no you. Okay. Oops, sorry. And then the, the next item on the regular agenda is to the amendment of the new um, chapter 17 of the City of Columbia Code of Ordinances. Um, just revising the effective date, and I'll let um, Rachel Bailey also speak to that. So, um, as you all know, back at the beginning of the year, we came to you to update the effective date to November, and we were going to do public meetings in March of 2020 um, for the outreach for the new maps. Due to COVID-19, um, that threw off our schedule a bit, so we had to regroup and redo our public outreach plan. So we've been doing those virtual public meetings and we are back on track. So we are updating, or we are hoping to update the effective date of the code to March 31st, 2021. So that'll be the code and the map. And I'm happy to answer any questions y'all may have. Thank you. Are there any questions from Planning Commission? Here are none. 
Um, here none, we'll move to public comment period. We encourage those that would like to communicate via email to begin sending in letters and emails to COC board meeting at Columbia SC.gov. We also encourage those wanting to leave a voicemail to use star two. The phone number is 855-925-2801. And that meeting code is 7936. We'll start to receive comments from the public who choose to speak via phone live. That number is 855-925-2801. With a meeting code of 7936. Uh, please press star three to join the queue and please provide your full name for the minutes. We will take a brief pause to uh, see if any public comments come in. Mr. Frost, this is Andrew. I currently do not have any callers that have indicated they wish to speak and I do not have any comments okay, that correct. have been logged in. Lucinda, do you have any emails? I do not have any emails at this time. Okay, having no emails and no callers on the line, uh, I will entertain a motion from the Planning Commission. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to approve um, the Planning Commission to recommend to City Council to approve the request of the revised effective date of ordinance, um, the Unified Development Ordinance. Got a motion, can I get a second? Second. All right, Lucinda, you wanna call the roll? Mr. Cohn. Yes. Mr. Hart. Yes. Ms. Hartz. Yes. Ms. James. Yes. Dr. Mandel. Yes. Mr. Stigemeyer. Yes. Mr. Tupper? Yes. Mr. Frost? Yes. Motion passes. All right. Do we have any other business? I don't know of any other business. All right. Well, with uh, no other business, um, do I have a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to adjourn. Got a motion, can I get a second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, any opposed? All right, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. <laughs>